Welcome back to my channel everyone. Please give it a thumbs up and also a share. I'd really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. So today we're going to be walking to Caister. Scrappy is back in that direction um, and California. And we're not going to walk along this route. Uh, we're going to walk along the promenade, which is just down here at the bottom. So the UK obviously is still under lockdown because of COVID-19. Uh, however, you are still allowed to leave your house to uh, do daily exercise. I'm obviously going to be following all the different rules and restrictions that are in place. And most importantly, of course, staying more than two metres away from people. So let's go. I love this area. Obviously, California just down there and this promenade which will walk you all the way to um, Haven at Caister, which uh, we'll come to in a minute. But before then, if you like um, looking for crabs, I don't know if you can get whelks around here, but um, these little bay areas are the perfect place to go and look for crabs. Not many of them are around here to be fair, but you do see one on the odd occasion. In fact, it was last year that I went swimming just there behind those rocks and in the distance I saw like a fin. Um, I, th I thought it was a shark. I did film it. Um, here's a clip of it. And I thought it was a shark. Obviously it wasn't, it was a dogfish. But uh, you can see how clear the water was. That was back in the summer, absolutely amazing. So it's absolutely amazing what the sea has done to these rocks. Look how smoothed out they are. Look at that, they're super smooth because of the wave action. So back up on the promenade, again this is just a really lovely promenade to go on a bike, go for a walk, especially in the evening time as well. And if you're fortunate enough to be around here, you know, when the moon comes out, the moon often rises over there. This is just beautiful. And if you get uh, tired on the way, there's lots of benches. Um, and each of these benches are kind of dedicated to people that have uh, always loved coming here on holiday, enjoyed sitting on these benches and, uh, and looking out to sea. And you'll find most of these benches have some kind of uh, memorial plaque on them. You can see there's quite a few dotted down there. You can see the Scroby wind farm over there. If anyone uh, is familiar with Scroby and Scroby Sands, there's a, a huge sandbank that travels along from Great Yarmouth towards Scrapby. And uh, from Yarmouth, you can go out and see the seals. And actually, from Yarmouth, on a good clear day, you can actually see the sandbank and actually see the seals on it if you've got good eyes. Um, interesting story, which I found out the other day, that Scroby Sands um, is kind of distantly related to Scrapby in the sense that it kind of used to belong, I believe, to uh, some guy, some earl or somebody, who used to live in Scrapby, um, and he decided to uh, call it Scrotby, Scrapby, uh, an added extension, if you were, onto Scrapby. And uh, there used to be a little hut on there. People think it was a house, but it was a hut. And... Uh, yeah, June grass used to grow on there a long time ago. And uh, obviously this is part of the, uh, the Norfolk Coastal Path, which uh, stretches pretty much around North Norfolk as well. Um, if you're a bit of a rambler, a bit of a walker, there is some beautiful um, areas and scenery to check out, including, obviously, this is a bit of a highlight, walking to Caister. As we continue on this journey, I'll explain about the changes in Caister, in the sense that uh, the sea used to be a lot closer than it is now, and I'm only going back about 20 years, um, and I'll see if it's still actually on the beach. I'll explain what I mean in just a second. We're coming up towards the original holiday camp, which is uh, world famous. That's the, uh, the Caister Holiday Park. 
owned by uh, Haven. You know, if you are coming to Caister on holiday, you know, they do have uh, beach access as well. A few years ago, they put this uh, boarding in for uh, for people who are less abled wheelchair access. There's the, uh, the entrance. You know, if you want, you can just uh, pull up here in your wheelchair and have a look at the beach. So it'd be interesting to see if anyone else has any more memories of this. About 20 years ago when I first um, moved here, I actually worked on a holiday park up there called uh, Caster Beach. This beach used to look very different. That was still there, but a lot of this beach was stripped away, um, albeit from storms or what, I don't know. But where you see that, that, if you was on the beach, it used to be right up high and a big concrete wall used to concave like that. That's the right word. It used to be all the way along here. And um, I remember on one stormy night, you can't see it, it's buried in sand. Uh, there was a walkway that went along here and the water used to come right up to it. And I remember one stormy night standing just about here as the waves was uh, smashing up. So interesting story. So we always talk about erosion and stuff like that, but uh, a lot of sand has been deposited here. You can, uh, you can see, it. I'll show you if I can actually see any more evidence of what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, it's amazing how much sand has been put here. This looks so completely different to what I remember about 20 years ago. If you come to Caster Beach Holiday Park in particular, you will also remember as you came down here, you know, there'll be a big drop down to the beach. And yeah, as I was talking about the sea wall here, I found uh, some evidence of it still there, look, but just uh, now completely and utterly buried. The slope used to come all the way down. And in actual fact, I can still see, and I remember these because as I walked along here where the waves used to uh, crash up, there was uh, almost like some steps going down. So you can just see how much sand um, has come up along the beach. Look, you can see those steps used to go all the way down to what was this walking area. So there you go. And you see more evidence of uh, how much sand is now here in Caister with the steps that, and the handrail that goes to nowhere. In the distance you can see some cottages there. And uh, a long time ago, there used to be a big manor house on the cliff up here that got uh, washed into the sea many years ago. And uh, there's a holiday park just there. If you go into the bar, you can see a massive photo of this big manor house that used to be in Caister that was literally up here. And it so we're coming up to a couple of uh, holiday parks. And these caravans have, I think you'll agree, some impressive views. I think there's two sites. This site I think is just caravans. There's a site next to it. I said before about those pillboxes that you see all around the coast. If you can just see out there on the beach, um, there's one pretty much buried. You can see the door there. Uh, that's been there for a very long time. Just have a look back. Point of reference, obviously uh, Haven Caster's there. Beyond it is California and Scrapby. And obviously if you continue walking down here, you can walk to, uh, to Great Yarmouth. And um, I was saying about a pub that's kind of on the beach. And this is pretty unique, I think. I mean, I'm sure you might tell me if there are others around the country, but um, yeah, a pub sign that's just here. This is the, uh, the Never Turn Back. And there's the pub. In fact, it's, uh, it's even got a little volleyball sand pit area just there. But um, yeah, that's a, a nice pub. If you want to go and get yourself refreshed on the walk before you uh, continue, maybe walk into Great Yarmouth. That's the, uh, the never turn back. So this site has got um, a clubhouse on it. It's got some shops, an arcade for the kids um, and all your amenities that you might need. But uh, again, look at where it is. Literally right on the beach. Shame about these, but this is obviously flood defences, so they kind of need to be up. They've been building this for quite some time, actually. 
you can uh, imagine when it's finished it will be uh, it'll be really lovely with the views now obviously I've done this walk a long time it's been here for a few years now but um, again what a great house and view to have right on the beach here in Caister interesting note used to be a cafe that was here for years um, and had some decking outside and if you want a point of reference of how to get into Caista village then uh, I think this is a good one if anyone knows the story about these um, I'd love to know but uh, yeah these lions look at that almost like guarding the entrance to Caister that's where we're heading to next the flag on the top that's Caister lifeboat and here is the uh, the iconic Caister structure known as Caister lifeboat looking absolutely beautiful here in the sun I think it was back in 2005 um, Prince Charles came to uh, came here and launch one of their new boats and as you know the phrase caster men never turn back hence the name of the pub i'm sure in years past they've uh, seen some stormy seas and some amazing rescues let's just have a quick look around the building obviously the national coast watch is up there as well looking out to sea and um, in the summer case the lifeboat the annual fate have a barbecue and events that go on around here yeah it's really great I in fact I remember playing archery there one year you can actually see here a little board where they normally put up any rescues service calls that they've done goes to show how many lives they've saved look how many times they've had to launch and which boat has gone out the most and look at that this is why it's so important that people donate to case of life but 395 souls have been saved it's free entry to come in here uh, in the main season i think it runs from the easter holidays to october and a bit of history there amazing history about case to lifeboat men records go back as far as 1281 isn't that just absolutely incredible? Standing proud in Caister. If you uh, continue your walk, you can walk actually through um, the sand dunes through there. There's a Caister Golf Course over there, which is a really lovely golf course. And if you keep walking, that will take you towards Seashore Holiday Park in Great Yarmouth. So thanks for watching. As always, please give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Comment below with your memories about Caster, And please do give the video a share. And most importantly, please subscribe.